masaya ako na baka saan kayo lahat ngayong, ngayong araw na ito. And uh, I just want to share with you an article that I got from the internet. From This is from comparingtruth.org, a newsletter from the internet. And I find it very beautiful. I remember using this material for my ICMF class last year. And uh, yeah, nagandahan ang mga sudyante ko, nagandahan ako. And uh, I just want to share this with you. So allow me. Why is following Jesus Christ difficult? Ito ay may kinalaman dun sa mga previous uh, blogs natin. No? Uh, following Jesus Christ is not that easy, but there is this wondering, bakit kaya? No, bakit kaya? Following Jesus Christ is difficult. In fact, without the grace of God, following Jesus would be impossible. That is according to Matthew chapter 19, verse 25 to 26. Jesus demands total surrender and complete submission. He will not settle for second place in our lives. Jesus calls us to be willing to give up anything and everything and follow Him. Our most intimate family bonds, our careers, our material wealth, even our very own lives must be subordinate to our love and allegiance to Jesus. That is according to Matthew chapter 10 verses 37 to 39 at makikita din sa Luke 14, 26. To follow Jesus means to recognize and submit to Him as our Savior, Lord, and God. From Luke chapter 2, verse 11, uh, that also can be that can be seen also in John uh, 20, 20, 28. No? Following J Jesus Christ is difficult because it demands not only a willingness to die for Him, but to live for Him through sacrificial service. No? From Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and Philippians chapter 1 22. No? Following Christ is difficult because it requires self um, discipline and God's discipline from 1 Corinthians 9 25 to 27 and Hebrews 12 3 to 11. In following Christ we must discipline our hearts our minds and bodies so that we are fighting ready because following Christ also means that we are at war. Followers of Christ are at war with the devil, the world, and the old sin natures that reside in us. Uh, see, from Ephesians 6, 11-12, um, and 1 Peter 5, 8, and John 15, 18, and 1 John um, 3, 13, Romans 7, 21-25, and Galatians 5, 17. So, hindi ko na sinasabi yung verse and chapter. But I hope na susundan nyo yan. Ha? Following Christ is difficult because it involves suffering from um, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verse 12. Following is a narrowing, is a, is a narrow path. No? Indeed. No? From Matthew 7, verse 13 to 14. In following Christ, we go against our natural, sinful natures and against the fallen and corrupted world system. We live contrary to the reign of Satan and sin in our world. From second from the second uh, letter of Paul to the Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 into the Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. It can be a challenging, it can be challenging to go against the natural stream. We are set free from sin yet also still struggle against it. From Romans 7:15 in the 8 verse 2 waging war against sin is hard both because of sin because of sin's deceptive and alluring draw and uh, the fact that knowing it only leads to death and is displeasing god we hate it so much the world at large is dead because of sin look look at uh, all the the things around you in Jesus, we are spiritually alive. That is according to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. We know there is something much better, and we yearn for it. We have the light, so we more deeply understand the tragedy of the darkness. The understanding is both an encouragement in following Christ and the difficulty in living in this world as a follower of His. God has granted it to us as a privilege not only to believe in Christ, but to suffer for His sake 
from Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. It is for our ultimate good and God's ultimate glory that following Jesus is difficult because only those who suffer for Christ will reign Him above. Parang masarap na lang mahirapan kasi meron tayong patutunguhan pagdating mo sa mundo. Wow! Oh, finish na! Boss, wala na! Finish na! Mas matalino to! Tama ka! Tama! Tama to! Wala lang pe! Mas matalino to pe! Mas matalino sa kanya na to! Sa kanya na to! Power na yun! Tama na! Wow! No, that is according to 2 Timothy 2 verse 12 and Romans 8 verse 17. The process of being conformed into the image of Jesus Christ is not always easy or conformable, but it is always a cause for rejoicing because it results in our maturity in Christ from James 1 verses 2 to 4. Just as Christ's suffering resulted in His exaltation, according to Philippians 2 verses 5 to 11, our sufferings are preparing for us an eternal weight of glory. From the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, uh, chapter 4, verses 17 to 18. God has promised those who follow Christ that our sufferings are not worth comparing to the glory to be revealed in us. For in heaven, we will be like Jesus, and we will dwell with Jesus forever in a place where there is no pain and no suffering. That is from Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21, and Revelation 21, chapter verses uh, 3 to 4. Again, this is from comparingtruth.org. It's a newsletter. Uh, marami silang material, siguro you can, you can follow. But for now, ito muna ang gusto kong share. So, ito pang ganda-ganda ng material. Magandang pag-usapan, maaaring dyslexic ako ay misa na utal, masarap basahin, kahit na dyslexic ako, pero hindi ganun ka ganun isang buhay. Pero God is there, and God is good. Nang sasamahan na tayo at gagawin ang gagawin ang mga tayo. Hindi madali, pero there, and there is an assurance na magkakaroon tayo ng linhawa sa buhay na kapilang, kapilang buhay sa buhay na walang hindi. No? Muli, I am Brother Eds, and uh, if you have suggestions, if you have comments, and if you have uh, questions, just comment below, like this video, and subscribe. Bye!